this is a very short video and it was originally the end of the VCD versus UHD comparison that I did but I've taken it off the end of there and made it into this standalone video because I think it works better on its own. And it's about 4K or ultra high definition. You see in a previous video I made I saw quite a few comments popping up about 4K saying what's the point? You need a massive television before you can see a difference and most recent films were even shot in 4K anyway. So let's try to address those two points. The first one, you need a massive television. Well there are these charts online that tell you where you need to sit before you can appreciate a difference between 1080p and 4K. I notice all the charts say something different so it's really down to your own personal experience as well as of course the quality of your television and for that matter the quality of your eyesight as well but what about my personal experience well I'm sat about 10 feet away from a 65 inch screen from there can I see a massive difference between the quality of 4k and 1080p as far as resolution goes no no I can't but I didn't buy 4k just for the resolution I'll explain more in a second now this business about films not being shot in 4K or edited in 4K, it's very true, a lot of films aren't, but I wasn't born yesterday, I don't go into this with no research before I buy a product, obviously you do a bit of research, especially if you're a bit of a movie fanatic, you'll read upon the forums about what a particular film was shot in, and more importantly how it was edited down, and you'll see films that were shot in high resolutions and edited in 4K, and those are the ones that you'll probably go ahead and buy if you really want to get the best out of your system, but those two previous points we're just talking about resolution and if that's all UHD offered over HD then you can count me out as well I'm not interested I don't need the improved resolution as we mentioned before but the thing that got my interest in the format a couple of years ago was when people were starting to talk about the fact that the format would offer a higher dynamic range and increase color depth they tend to put HDR on the disc now, and this is the major selling point for me. It's something that you really can tangibly notice, even if you can't spot the difference in the resolution. It's the fact that the whites on the screen really pop out, the darks are really dark, and the colours have a much greater range to them. And I'm going to try and demonstrate something to you here by showing you the Blu-ray disc versus the ultra high definition disc for a scene. But again, obviously I can't record this with the HDR through the camera and you can't see HDR either through YouTube, through your screen. So don't try and think of this as a demonstration of the technology. It's just to show you that something different is going on and it's worth investigating. Now what you're going to see here is a shot that was done all in one go. I pressed record on the camera, played the Blu-ray, then played the UHD Blu-ray, and then split it and put it side by side. So the camera didn't stop, I haven't changed the settings on the camera, and as you can see the colour looks distinctly different on the UHD side to what it does on the standard Blu-ray side. Now on here it looks like the UHD has had its colour timing altered just to look like the evening whereas the standard Blu-ray is the middle of the day but it's not that, that's just how it comes across on this video. What I'm really trying to show you is the colour is distinctly different on the two sides and it's only something that you can appreciate in person. It's the way the HDR mode works and the way the brightness has a much greater range of variance between the dark and the light. So for me, the big selling point for the UHD Blu-rays isn't the increased resolution or the better sound. Those are all nice things and maybe in the future I'll be able to take advantage of them with a bigger screen and better sound system. But for me right now, it's all about the high dynamic range and the increased colour depth. Now I think manufacturers are aware that a lot of people out there do think that UHD is just about an increase in resolution. So they've come up with this new logo, Ultra HD Premium, that's to indicate that the device is capable of displaying the HDR and the increased colour depth and you'll also see it on the back of the discs as well. And this really is something that you can only experience in person, just like VR. It's not something that you can experience with someone showing it on YouTube, you've got to be there in person. And now if you see it in person and you think it's a load of rubbish then fair enough but don't just write off UHD as resolution there's more to it than that but anyway that's it for the moment as always thanks for watching